Welcome to USA Football's Put Pride Aside for Player Safety Education Series. By reviewing and sharing these safety practices, you can help educate and protect players at all levels of the game. Okay, what we're talking about now is the form tackle. Player's going to step in an imaginary hole, get real low, bending deep in the knees, keeping his waist at a 45 degree angle, keeping his eyes and chin up, ripping and shooting, knuckles up, elbows down. Here we go. Ball carry. Tuck yourself, tuck your arm like a ball. Sit. Hit. Pick him. Boom. Pick him up. Jaw, 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 Relax. Good job. You got to take off on hit. Here we go. Do it again. Do it again. Hit. Boom. Pick him up. Jaw, 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 jaw. Good job. Do not engage with the head. The head did not impact first. That is number one. We will make a sound tackle over and over again because we still have our brain. I'm Coach Bobby Hosea. If you're the parent of a youth or high school tackle football player or the coach of a high school or youth tackle football team, your primary concern is lowering the risk of concussions to your players and your student athlete. If you're an athletic administrator, your number one priority is to make sure the coaches under your authority know how to identify, eliminate, and replace the causes of concussion. In order to make football safe, we have to find out what makes football dangerous. Football is not dangerous because of the way it's played. Football is dangerous because of the way it's taught. Due diligence. Definition of due diligence. The care that a reasonable person exercises to avoid harm to other persons or their property. Due diligence. If you're a tackle football coach, I have two questions for you. Are you a safe coach? And what makes you think you are? Terrence, did you know that there's no coach on any level of football competition that is required to know what causes a concussion, nor how to prevent it? There's no standard of care. The people that need to know what causes a concussion and know how to prevent it are the guys that are playing, the ones that are getting concussions. So the people that really need that knowledge and need that training and education are the players themselves. Contrary to popular belief in advertising slogans, young football players are not getting bigger, faster, or stronger. In fact, according to medical experts, due to inactivity and poor diets, young people are out of shape and overweight. That's why I recommend a minimum of six to 10 weeks of preseason tackling specific education, training, and conditioning. The best protection you can give your student athlete that plays tackle football is the knowledge and training to protect themselves. Second best protection you can give them is you. Get the only hands-on tackling safety and performance coaches clinic of its kind in the world. I knock my knees, my toes are out like a penguin. And I'm, I'm rolling my bone over, I don't have an arch. So my bone's on the ground. And I'm pressing my heels down, and I'm sinking my hips. Get the only hands-on tackling safety and performance coaches clinic of its kind in the world. Where coaches learn how to identify, eliminate, and replace the physical mechanisms tackling terminology and techniques that lead to head-first impact and potential concussions. And this was given to me, guys. It's not something I just sat around and let me just Einstein this. No, it just, I'm serious, man. I don't know if you guys believe in the Lord or not, but God, is, the only thing God can't do is fail. So when I asked the Lord, I said, Lord, teach me to teach them. That's where it came from because of suffering of the little ones, the least of them, it's gone to his ears, man, and it's at our hands, at our doing in the name of a sport. Because we want to make them tough, we want to make them uh, uh, accountable, give them life experience. No, yeah, but we can do all that, but can we do it in a safer way? 
Yes, we can. Can we do it a better way? Yes, we can. And it's not anybody telling you what to do. I'm not, I would never tell you how to run your offense. I don't care what kind of offense. Like you say, I don't care if y'all ever win a game. As long as you protect those kids. But ultimate winning is each little boy going away and still loving football, whether he's going to play in high school or not. He goes away with loving that experience, loving you as a coach and loving you. They love you, man. They do. If you treat them right. If you put them first. It's easy to change when you put them first and their well-being first. You lead with this. If you lead with your heart, that will clear up everything. Any kind of whatever you might have in your hand that, no, nah, man. If you lead with this and then a wrist injury, you'll be eliminated. You will not use it. I will replace those very techniques, drills, and terminology with new drills, new techniques, and new terminology that have proven for nearly 20 years to lower the risk of concussions to players on every level of football competition. Youth, the Hosea Method signature tackle looks the same on every level of football competition. High school, eyes up, hips and shoulders pressed. College, knuckles up, pros, elbows down. And women's tackle football.